Welcome back everybody, here on Just Zack where it is my mission to show you the most interesting games today with the blocky dungeon. It's Tetris. It's Tetris, but it's a roguelike. There's nothing else really to say. How about I show you the game? Let's just straight jump into it. Ha! Huh, I barely managed to get the words there <laughs> over my tongue. My god. Let's have a look at the quest mode. There's an atlas mode. There's a tutorial, which I actually have played. And of course, this is the official demo. As you can see, we only have certain demo quests available. This is the official demo of... My god, Blocky Dungeon, there we go, what's wrong with me? Keep, I keep forgetting the names of all the games I play <laughs> during this session today. So, the Blocky Dungeon, let's have a look at the quest mode. And I apparently did the beginning, that was already the demo, dang it. Let's do Slime Slayer. Trust me, I'm not very good at this game. We have to defeat the three slimes and you can immediately see there it is, the Tetris inspiration. So we, oh dang it, I shouldn't have done this. We kind of want to create this dungeon by having these files go down. At the left side, I don't personally care about score, um, but on the left side, uh, more importantly, we have our attributes. We have um, five hit points, we have a total amount of energy, we have zero out of 10 XP, two hammers, we started with three. Um, you uh, can use hammers, <laughs> I accidentally used one already, to fill certain gaps like what I just did, or you can use it to essentially de uh, destroy like walls like the wall here um, right beside the um, red i could just destroy and build a hammer down with my hammer then we have keys which we will probably use to open chests i haven't done this some coins and uh, that at the button is the curse meter and when that is full when we're fully cursed we start to lose health that's not a good sign. How do we get the curse to go down? Well, by appeasing the blood god or so, by essentially killing my enemies. And you will see once we enter combat in the upper left corner, there's also a attack value, which we'll, we'll need against certain enemies. So our quest is to just destroy three slimes. Let's see if we can do this. So I wanna get this. Okay, the red is moving. I it's, it's essentially a turn-based game as well. So right now I have my 10 energies. If I use this, I can do whatever I want. The enemies are not going to move, but they will move once the turn is over. And yeah, during my turn, so to speak, I can move the dungeon if I so want. And I can move my character. So, ooh, okay, I just destroyed the barrel. I luckily gained one attack power. Also a health potion, which I don't need. Maybe I should have left there. With these two attack power, I can not kill the rat because I used all my movement because I did not pay attention to my energy. There we go. That was a mistake. Let's place this down. The rat is immediately going to attack me. I attack back. Enemies also attack back. Um, I, unfortunately, only attack back with one attack power because we only have one attack power, but we can increase this due to certain measures. One is to um, destroy enemies with the exact amount to essentially do a perfect attack. A perfect attack if, uh, is if we attack and kill an enemy with the exact damage that is required. For example, I would do a perfect attack on this, what is that, a slime, a slug? Is that a slime already? I think that's a slug. Um, if I had an attack power of three, which I don't have, but two is enough, um, I'm gonna lose some attack because it's gonna attack back but we can deal with one of them, luckily. So what do I do with this tile? There's another way to increase our attack power, which I will see, uh, show you eventually. Let's see what's the best way. I guess I wanna have it here. And people who played a lot of Tetris probably can already, already tell that I'm not good at Tetris. I, of course, used to have this back in the days of the Game Boy, Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy, Oh man, don't know why I tried to say it like that. And I liked it, it was fun, I never played for high scores and never really did too much know how to do that. Like Rubik's Cubes. If you guys um, know these, like these magic cubes that you need to turn around with the different colors, there's something that you can learn to actually be good at what you're doing. I love to play with my Rubik's Cube, um, with a magic cube. 
but I was never good at it. Never really truly learned that. I guess my I think the best I ever did was like two sides or something. So let's put this down. You can also tell that some of these um, lines down at the bottom are highlighted. They, these are um, obviously the ones I have essentially completed. And I can destroy them, but I'm going to show you eventually how that works. For now, let's get this down. Destroy this, get a new hammer. Get rid of the red. And what's this? Oh, full energy. Well, didn't quite need that, but thanks anyway, I guess. Dungeon level up. Oh no. Dungeon level went up. That means enemies are also more dangerous. Uh, how do I use this now? Oh no. Oh, like this. Fair. Okay. Um, This is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to move over here. And then I'm going to use this. Now my attack power is up because I'm going to destroy four lanes. And for every lane or line that I destroy, I get an additional attack power. But as the, um, with the same as before, attack power only lasts for a turn, essentially. So I have to be careful here. Yeah? Luckily, with what I just did, I have all the attack power to one-shot this enemy. I actually can't get it down there, right? So let's place this here. Oh, full block, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a slime. And that's a portal. Oh, that's good. Do this, and then we're gonna place this line. That looks like a trap where the slime is standing on. I wonder if I do this. Now oh, I have the attack power. I, I'm not quite sure. Um, I figure out that when you destroy enemies by having these lines fall down, you do not receive any XP. So there's an incentive to destroy them yourself. I was thinking how it would work with the slime, if that would still count for the quest objective. But frankly, um, and luckily, it doesn't matter, because now I have three attack power. So let's make sure to also get the XP. Get out of here. Walk into this portal. I don't know what this portal is. And there's slime. Oh, don't walk into slime. Go. Not good. Slime poo is gonna hurt you. Good to know. All right, I could do this. I th oh god, that's quite some damage, man. But we will get a block coming up. I'm gonna actually hide here in the corner. Because at the end of each turn, every monster is going to move up to two tiles and attack anything that is there. Including other monsters. So uh, I would be safe here for right now. I guess I could turn this. Sure, like this. Because I... Oh god, there's a lot of enemies. I could destroy the slug, but that would be kind of close. Oh, man. Having some attack power would be nice. No, I'm gonna hide here again. Dungeon level up. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna place this down. The slug is not going to move, huh? Okay, these two are fighting each other. I am fine with that. I could hide and destroy these, but then I wouldn't really have much to go, right? Okay, let's, that's fine. To attack power, let's just get rid of the enemies to increase our XP. Um, if we level up, we gain more HP and energy, which is definitely helpful. I think I had three attack power, right? So one damage, it's fine. Take, oh no, it immediately left me. Dang it, this is not good. Can run away, but I'm out of energy. Yeah, that's not good. Also good to know that these wooden tiles, I didn't know that before, um, are apparently one-time use only. Okay, the slug still refuses to move, though. I'll take this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just run away and be ready to defeat the slime. I'm gonna place this down. Activate this, and with attack power of four, gonna get rid of the slime. So the second slime is defeated. And we're still somewhat alive, luckily. I think we'll just... No, let's have it here. Free hammer. I'll take this. Yeah, that would be a gap. Oh, it's a... Wow, that red has a health of four. That's not nice. I guess it could fill the gap maybe like this. Sure. Let's place this. Let's do this. This title is not enough to fill the other thing. And there's the healing potion. I still don't know what this portal thing is doing. Ah, the 
ghost. Now oh, it's coming to get me. That's not good. Okay, I can walk over this. That's good to know. What the hell is this? I don't know what this does. Uh, next up is a long one. I could also fill this. I have quite a few hammers, frankly. Uh, let's hope it doesn't attack me. It doesn't. So this would give us quite some attack power. So I want to place this here. Now you fight each other. I'm fine with that. I can also make sure to get the ghost. So that's some stuff. Can I move on this? Top this? For now I can. I'll take one damage. Two attack power. I mean, thanks to the level up, we have enough to get rid of the slime. I'm fine with taking the damage. Oh no, attack power it went down again. Uh -huh. Looks like I still don't have a good feeling for this. Also, I lost the connection to my controller by sheer panic. Interesting. Now that this dropped down, this is now an open field. Not nice. Let's do this then. Is that fine if I do it here? Sure. Let's place this here. I could gain one, two, three, four tech power. That's fine. Move once. Get rid of the slime. Move up. There we go. We did the quest. Nice. Now we just have to wait for a golden portal. There it is. And get in there. Should get the energy for reasons. And get down here. I don't care about the rest. Uh, about the rest of the rat. Quest complete. That is the most important thing. Also some points. Sure. So now we could go with the next quest or do another quest selection. Of course, endless mode seems to be like the classic mode, like in Tetris. Quest mode, hammer and sword. What would this require of us? Also, there's a lich, as we saw earlier. Build five tiles. Which means, yeah, we need essentially just more hammers. Also, reaching level three is pretty easy. Well, not pretty easy, but that is also a goal of this. I just want to real quickly see what the... Can we go? Yeah, let's see. What would the lich level defeat the boss be about? Okay, we just have to defeat the boss. Which, this is not it. But again, we have boss battles, we have everything. Let's see. I'm going to give it a try and we're going to see each other after a, a tiny cut. Emperor of the Underworld, the Lich, which has 25 hit points and three shield or something. Oh no, we should have cleared the other levels. No idea how I'm supposed to defeat that. Wow. All right, that's a thing. Let's see what happens. I argue this is gonna be not so nice. Could do this. I have a lot of hammers. I like how even his minions are fighting each other. <laughs> okay, get all these hammers. Get the extra energy. I should be able to... Do this. Nine energy. So... This should work. Attack power two. One, two. Get rid of everything. Okay, he's still hitting me for how much? Whoa, 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 wait, what happens if I do this? Oh, we have so much attack power, but I can't reach him anyway. Okay, let's get over here. Bye-bye, Lich. Oh, right beside me. I don't have any attack power. I'm out of energy. Well, this is not going to be fun, I dare to say. Oh, what is that doing? Attack power. That's nice. Attack power again. But he is going to hurt me back, isn't he? Well, yep, yeah, for three damage. You were killed by a lich. Your journey ends here. Well, it was worth a try to go for the last level of this demo of Blocky Dungeon. <laughs> what a surprise, having not played the other levels to get a good grasp and fear of the game, that this might be a bit stronger, a bit too hard to face the boss off. Um, regardless, even though this was a very short video so far in comparison to all the others, I think... And I, at least I hope that I could give you guys a good feeling about a blocky dungeon. It is Tetris. It's a roguelike. 
and I think there is potential in there. I like the music, I like the presentation. It has a very simple concept. Hey, let's make pit Tetris, but make it a roguelike. And if they keep improving on the core gameplay loop with more upgrades and other uh, innovative ideas, which so far they really seem to be doing, I see that this game might very well be worth checking out. But the most important thing is, of course, what do you guys think? Please tell me that down in the comments. If you like this video, if you like the game and my presentation, um, that would be highly appreciated. If not, please do a dislike and tell me what I can improve. Regardless, I'm very much looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome and till then.